What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. So now we're going to get right into it. So I'm just going to go into the campaign and start farming up more of the gear we need for the Jiren in order to get him to Orange 3. But in order to get him to Orange 3, he does have to be level 83. And currently my overall level is only 82, so no matter how much I upgrade him, the cap is going to be 82 for now. So we're going to have to wait until we get to level 83 and then finally upgrade to Orange 3, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to go into the arena and let's see if we can uh, beat uh, Martin M. So let's go. Now he does have 40k CP higher than me and his lineup is really strong. But if I were him, I would just switch the placement of the GT Goku and the Jiren. Just because the Jiren can lower the, the defense first and then all of his characters can do more damage. But um, besides that, his Super Saiyan God Goku is also really strong. You see it in the 6th spot right there. Now, I've always been debating on putting my God Dexmasu, keeping it in the 6th slot just to do more damage, or putting it in that front row just to add another buffer. So, um, I was playing around with it, and obviously, you all saw in the previous episodes that I think the God Dexmasu, um is pretty good in the back row, especially him being Orange 3. He's going to be doing a lot of damage, as you can see right here. So, he's doing like 100k damage to everyone, which is uh, a lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, pretty much I am looking to get my own Super Saiyan God Goku in my lineup very soon, but, but um, because he's only 4 star, He's not going to be as effective right now um, in compared to like a 6-star Majin Buu. And also the Majin Buu comes back to life. So that's why right now the Majin Buu is the better character to put in the lineup or keep in the lineup for right now. Until we can get that Super Saiyan God Goku upgraded. Hopefully they have an event or something that will come out to get more shards. Because I have been using my Universal Shards on the Gata Zimasu as you'll see a little bit later. Now this is a pretty um, close fight right now. We're both around 45%, 50% HP left. So hopefully uh, we didn't get any stuns right there with the Majin Buu, which is pretty unfortunate. And we kind of need all the RNG on our side if we want to win this fight. Also, the hit was silenced right there. So uh, that kind of hurts us as well. So let's see what goes on and let's watch the rest of the fight. <laughs> お前に勝つぞ。all right so i pretty much am going to be end up losing this fight just because the guy that is not going to be able to come back to life and uh, beat the rest of these three characters but either way that was still a good fight um honestly overall just watching the majin buu he didn't really get enough stuns that we needed in this fight also, his damage output when he was doing his ultimate attack was not a lot at all. So he is probably the next character I'm looking to replace in my lineup, uh, preferably for that Super Saiyan God Goku. But the Super Saiyan God Goku doesn't have any links either. As you can see right here, I just skipped it to save some time. We get these rewards, get some um, Super Badge Souls and stuff. But yeah, as you can see, the Super Saiyan God Goku doesn't have any bonds activated. So that's why I haven't thrown him in the lineup. Also, with him being 4 star, he's kind of weaker. I believe even with the moves on, he's around 6k CP weaker than the Majin Buu. And that's pretty significant. Um, and also, I haven't upgraded his uh, Esoterica's and also his um, other one that boosts his uh, attack or HP, I believe. So he's a little weaker. That's why it's going to take a little while. So I'm just going to have to rock with this lineup for now and see what happens. Now we're just going to go into the chest and open up some things. We're getting Awakening Stone. I do need those Awakening Stones for the Gata Zimasu as it is getting more and more expensive um, spending those Awakening Stones on his gear. They're around 3 and 4 star uh, Awakening for his gear, which is pretty good. I'll show you that a little later on. So you see we have a little more stuff in our bag. We can open that later or maybe another time. So I'm going to go in and collect these uh, time-limited tasks, and uh, we get some more bento boxes for completing the least stages in the story. So good, we're collecting as much of those Awakening Stones as we can every day. Open five chests a day, and you get one Awakening Stone, which is really good. So now what we want to do is always complete your daily tasks to try and level up. That's why I'm trying to get to level 83 as quick as we can to try and get that Jiren to, level, um, to rank Orange 3. So we'll have two characters that rank Orange 3 pretty soon, sitting around 295k CP. 
Now let's go into the cross server arena. I do want to try and get to um, what is it, silver three. So let's go take on Chelsea from uh, server 36. Let's go. So the only characters on his team that I saw that could be dangerous is the Kid Goku and also the Hit. But other than that, the team, um, we should be able to get a win here. I'm gonna be honest, um, it's only Silver 3, so we should be okay getting into this kind of league. But also, if you all could uh, like, comment, subscribe for more content, drop a comment below what you guys wanna see in the next episode. Your guys' input is really valuable in uh, what content I put out. You know, I wanna give you guys in, uh, you know, all useful information that you guys can use in the game to even make your lineups better and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, pretty much just going in and explaining my first team. I just have my front row, just a whole bunch of HP. You guys seen the, the amount of HP that Jiren has and the amount of HP that Gata Zamasu has. And also having the Majin Buu come back to life with a chance. I believe it's like 75% chance to come back to life. This first team is really hard for people to take out, especially if they don't put their uh, all their good guys or all their strongest characters in that first team. So uh, you see my first team lasts pretty long in this fight. And uh, yeah, we just, I just put the Majin Vegeta in the back row just to get more paralysis to be more annoying for uh, characters to try and take out my first row. Now we do end up taking out his first team right there and we have around 50% HP which is pretty nice going into the second round of the fight. Now also I believe the game had an update where they dropped a new event called Xenoplanet Expedition. So we can check that out a little later but it's basically where I think you go against two or three other servers and you compete for gold and also dragon stones which is really nice especially for um, my free to play players out there like myself. And um, basically, easy way to get dragon stones if your server performs pretty well. So it's pretty uh, good way for us to farm up more dragon stones and um, keep them for great events that come out, like the semi-annual event, or even if you want to spend it on time limited heroes. But you know, you have to have the required amount of dragon stones in order to do that, which can be pretty expensive. But still, uh, nonetheless, they're I guess in a way that event helps us free to play players out that don't really spend money on the game and uh, keep it more competitive and yeah so that's pretty cool now continue on with the fight the Majibu will be coming back to life and uh, have a chance of stunning them and also the Gata Zimasu is still around so maybe he can do his ultimate or not so now he's gonna do his regular attack not his skill but that's all right uh, this first team honestly did what they need to do and if this first team does end up dying we have our second team that will easily be able to clean up because remember, we do have that Kid Boo on the second team. Uh, so right when he comes into the battle, he's going to be uh, damaging that back row. So I don't think we're going to be able to beat this uh, second team with our first team. But that's all right. Like I said, the Kid Boo would just come in, wipe out that back row, and we should be fine. And Android 17 finishes him off to get the win and now promoted to finally silver 3. So hopefully in the coming days we can get to gold 1, gold 2, gold 3, etc. But now let's go check out the, the Jiren real quick. Uh, I'm just going to show you his Esotericas and um, his Enormity Badge and all that for the Gata Zimasu. So these are the main two characters that I've been upgrading every day. Slowly but surely getting their Esotericas up, which increase their HP. And uh, yeah, pretty much the gear is pretty solid. Around uh, 2 and 3 star Awaken for the uh, Jiren and 3 and 4 star for the uh, Gata Zimasu. Now we will be Awakening one right here. There we go. We got it to 4 star. The max is 5 star on one particular gear. So it's getting closer and closer for the Gate Zimasu. He is the main priority just because he is SSS plus. So um, that makes him more valuable as a character. And I believe there's only uh, three SSS plus characters in the game. I did hear they may be coming out with a, uh, a fourth SSS plus character in, uh, I believe, Vegito, Super Saiyan uh, Blue Vegito, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe those can also comment down below. I wasn't too sure. I did hear some people talking about it in the comments. But anyways, let's go into the moves. 
and uh, see if we can get a purple move here. If not, it's all right. So we don't get a purple move, which is uh, kind of unfortunate, but it's all right. I'll smelt those later. Now I'm just going to show you the Kid Buu also. People wanted to check out why I haven't been upgrading the Divine Domain of the Kid Buu. We're only seven shards away from getting to seven star, which is really good. But also, they don't even uh, give an option to do it in the Divine Domain anymore for the Kid Buu. Now I'm just going to use these Universal Shards on the Gate Zamasu just because he is uh, more rare and hard to get those shards and I can't farm them up unlike the Kid Buu I can. So now going back to Kid Buu, um, they haven't come out with more Divine Domain for it so that's why I haven't been able to uh, upgrade more of his Divine Domain obviously. Now going into the new event I was talking about, Xeno Planet Expedition Event open so this is where you can get the dragon stones and stuff it's where you go um you click on the arena button not the not the challenge you go to the arena button and there it is right there xeno planet expedition so server 29 is going against server 11 and 53 so it should be interesting what's to come in i believe like a day so that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode of dragon xenoverse lost dragon ball make sure to like comment subscribe for more content and as always i'm out later